In this lab, you're going to be adding enough baking soda and vinegar to a Ziploc bag to get it to inflate. Um, I am just going to be kind of measuring out random amounts. You are going to use actual calculations to figure out how much you need. So once you have the grams of baking soda and the milliliters of vinegar you're going to that you found in your calculations, you're going to go to the lab, take your weigh boat, place it on your balance, make sure the balance is turned on, and then hit the T button, which is all the way over to the right-hand side, and that's going to tear it. That means it will set it to zero with the um, weigh boat on there. So you're then going to get some baking soda. And you can use a scoopula to get this out so you can be more precise. And you're going to put that off to the side. Next thing you're going to do is take your graduated cylinder with your vinegar and measure out the correct amount of vinegar. And again, you'll have an amount, you'll be precise. So now you have your two things. You're going to take your bag and your rubber band and make two compartments in your Ziploc bag. We don't want these two things to mix together until we're ready for them to do it. So if you do just do this little thing in the middle, then we will not have them mix until we're ready. So then I'm going to open one side and put my vinegar in one side. And close that. And then open the other side. Put my baking soda on that side. And close that. Okay, so you can see they are not reacting yet. They're in their own little compartment. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the rubber band off. And when I do that, I'm going to close the middle, make sure the whole thing is sealed. And then I'm going to mix them together. Once it is sealed, I will mix them together and let the whole reaction happen. So you can see as it's happening, the bag is filling up with gas. So at the end, you're going to make sure your bag doesn't pop. If it pops, meaning the seal opens, it's probably not gonna have so much that it will actually pop like a balloon. But if the seal opens, then you'll write yes under trial one. If it does not, then you write no, and you don't want it to open. And you also wanna do what we call the pinch test. So in the pinch test, you're going to take your thumb and index finger and try to pinch the bag. If they meet, then you don't have enough air, okay? So we want them to be about two centimeters apart, at least two centimeters apart, okay? And then you can make adjustments based on what you see. So you might be able to see in here what the limiting reagent is. Maybe you need to add more of that limiting reagent or if, if your fingers met. Maybe you added too much of something if your bag opened, um, and then you do a second trial the exact same way, but with different amounts of stuff.